is WKRC-TV, Channel 12, Cincinnati. Ahoy, this is Skipper Glenn Ryle welcoming you aboard. And it's nice to meet you each day, seven days a week here aboard the River Queen. And I was thinking just a moment ago, there certainly is a big difference between ships of today and those of yesterday. This is the Santa Maria, one of the vessels that made the trip to the New World with Columbus about the year 1492. The sailor not only had to know his job, but he had to keep a pretty firm footing all the time with the rolling and tossing of the wooden sailing ship. Yes, traveling by ship certainly is different today. And we'll find out more about it. But first, I'll tell you what let's do. Let's watch this cartoon. Today, across the nation and around the world, television is a booming business. Its electronic pathway through the skies is bringing education, news, and entertainment to millions of homes. And this modern means of communication is providing advertisers with opportunities to speak to tens of millions of people. The speed and immediacy of this medium is a challenge to the industry. At the great new home office of the Taft Broadcasting Company, this challenge is being met in an altogether new way. Station WKRC is climbing to new heights through the use of automatic electronic equipment. The daily routine of orders for commercials and programs is handled in a way that slashes operating costs and greatly reduces chance for error. This new way of doing things begins with the traffic director. She loads a special roll of paper tape into the Flexo writer and begins typing the day's schedule. The schedule contains the usual information, schedule time, name of program, audio source, and video source. As she types, the information on the schedule is transferred to the tape, which will be used to control the operation of the station. This magic box, a special coding device, converts the letters she types into a pattern of punched holes on the tape. Ten rows of holes on the tape comprise one event on the schedule. It could be a program, a commercial, or an ID. Each row of holes has its special meaning. Thus, the pertinent information on the schedule is punched out on the control tape. After the day's schedule is completely typed, the tape is ready. In one small roll of paper is all the information needed to run the station for the whole day. The tape is prepared 72 hours in advance and is then ready for use on the proper day. The information on this control tape will be fed into an electronic brain which will operate the station. First, the tape is loaded into a device called the tape reader. It reads the information on the tape and transfers it to the brain. As each scheduled event is put on air, the next is put into the brain. And so the process continues. The RCA, Electronic Brain, is the mastermind of all the station programming. It operates equipment and does the actual switching of shows and spots. A master clock times the schedule exactly. It's an electronic clock, very accurate. It's operated by a tuning fork and a temperature-controlled oven. The brain follows the schedule without emotion, without failure. First, the bakery commercial, a 20-second film on projector number one. The control tape puts this information in the brain. Relays in the brain decode the information supplied by the tape. Selector relays then set up circuit paths to proper audio and video sources, in this case to projector number one. As the seconds tick away on the master clock, all is in readiness. One second prior to airtime, a signal goes out to start projector number one. As airtime is reached, the switch is made. The bakery commercial goes on the air per schedule.
Station personnel observe these movements of the master clock and the brain. Electronic eyes show how the schedule is being carried out. Here is how these eyes spell out the information in the brain. The top row shows the event that is on the air. The bottom row shows the preview of the next event. Each of the windows has a meaning. Mode, hours, minutes, seconds, Video source, audio source. The letter C means that the system is being operated by the master clock. On air is a network program. Both video and audio are coming from the network. The next event will be a film with video and audio from projector number one. It could be a slide with live announcer. The automatic system can switch an ID with live audio. First, a signal goes out to the slide projector. The announcer awaits his cue, which he gets from the electronic eyes. The ID comes up in preview at left. The brain switches video and audio, and the ID goes on the air. Home theater at 11.15 tonight, WKRC-TV, channel 12, Cincinnati. The automatic system can switch live shows as well as film and slides. Each day, for example, Skipper Ryle puts on a children's show. Information about the Skipper Ryle show is fed into the system. The brain switches the studio on air at the scheduled time. An engineering director okays the schedule as each event goes on air. It becomes the official log of the station. The switching is done flawlessly. The machine makes no mistakes. It's not like the standard method. The way it used to be done, there could always be the question, was the right button pushed? It's precisely at the station break time that precision and accuracy are needed. The machine never wonders if it has made the right move. With automation, the schedule during a station break is handled as routinely as the ticking of a clock. There's no panic. It's as simple as watching the show. Before the station converted to automatic operation, four or five men were required in the technical area. But now, things are different. Operation is much more efficient, and of more importance, errors are reduced as much as 95%. The flawless operation of automatic switching is amazing. Let us follow a typical station break as it's done by the magic of electronics. This station break consists of two film commercials followed by an ID. First, the bakery commercial, a 20-second film. The control tape puts this information in the brain. Decoding relays receive the information. Selector relays set up circuits to proper projector. One second to air time, a signal goes out to start the projector. As airtime is reached, the switch is made from network to projector. Exactly at 9.29.28, the bakery commercial goes on air.
The next is a beer commercial, 10-second spot. <laughs> 